Hey guys, Divyanka here from Our Journey at Home. How have you been doing? I know it's been a long time since I have uploaded a video on this channel, but my sincere apologies for that. But now I'm back in action. And before we start, let me quickly wish you a very happy and a prosperous new year. I hope you have healthy, wealthy, and a very, very prosperous new year ahead. Okay. So what is the today's video about? In today's video, we are going to continue our math series and we are going to learn how to teach subtraction to our little ones. Okay. So if you haven't watched the other videos, there's an addition video and then there's a number names video, how to teach that. I'll make sure to link them in the description box below. Okay. So while starting with subtraction, what are the prerequisites? Okay, they are the same as for addition. So you can go and check out that video. It will really help you to understand if your child is at the right stage to start teaching subtraction to him or her. Okay, so I'm not going to cover that here. So just go and watch the addition video. Now how to start? As always, we start with hands-on activities because they are the simplest activities uh, which help the child to understand and grasp the concept okay so what are the three hands-on activities here you can use blocks you can use counters with flashcards and then you can use coins okay so right now for manipulatives I have here is this one the marbles okay so what you can do is how many are these these are six marbles okay you can take as many or as less on based on whatever uh, numbers the child is doing for subtraction if he is doing from 1 to 5 you can take just 5 if you are doing from 1 to 10 you can take 10 marbles or 10 manipulatives like pom poms or um, coins or anything else okay so here uh, I'll tell the child these are six in total okay now if I remove one how many are left five now if I remove two how many are left four in this way you have to teach the child the concept of subtraction taking away okay and how many are left in the pile right so this is one hands-on activities you can use same with flashcards as well now I don't have any sample flashcards to show as such but uh, you can give them two numbers say 5 minus 3 and then they can use these counters to first show 5 and then take away 3 so 1 2 3 now how many are left two are left okay so in this way you can use the counters along with the flashcards now when the child is able to do uh, using blocks and counters and also with flashcards at that time what you can do is you introduce them to coins okay now two activities can be done with coins uh, you also teach them at this step how to write the complete equation okay so what subtraction is represented by the sign of minus okay so 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 now how to do that either write the answer if they can directly subtract using fingers that's also good if not you can ask them to use counters okay so these are the coins that I'm saying our Indian currency okay so this is a 10 rupee coin 5 rupee 2 and 1 okay so now what I'm asking the child is 5 minus 2 now 5 minus 2 is how much 5 minus 2 is 3 now ask the child to represent 3 using the same coins okay so it will be 2 plus 1 3 okay it's a very hands-on activity as well as the child is learning to group the available coins to make the total number okay so the question remains 5 minus 2 and the in the answer they have to group uh, coins to add up to the uh, required answer okay so in this way you can do now if you are doing a bigger number say 15 minus 5 okay 15 minus 5 
either they can represent it with another 10 rupee coin so 15 minus 5 is 10 or you can give them a bunch of coins of 5s of 2s of 10s of 1s and then they can use combinations of say if the child is doing 10 using combination of 2 so he has to place 5 coins of 2 to make 10 okay in this act this is a little advanced activity but the, it should be fun and the child won't be able to grasp the concept of this activity right away but with practice with multiple times of practice it will be really really helpful for the child because they are learning two or three skills here okay they are learning basic subtraction they are learning to add to group the numbers available numbers to make the correct number they want and then they are learning to identify the Indian currency okay so three uh, birds in one stone we can say that now once you are done with the hands-on activities what I like the child to move on to is the activities to do in the notebook okay so if you have watched any of my activity notebook videos you know how much I like to do activities simple basic worksheet type of activities in our activity notebook okay so what are those activities uh, first we can teach them using a number line okay so draw a number line of the numbers that they are doing now this can be done up to 10 or max up to 20 not beyond that okay until the child is uh, grasping the concept you can uh, give them the help of number line okay so 3 minus 2 1 so they start at 3 go two steps backwards and what is the answer that they find it's one likewise for eight minus three is five okay so the second number is how many times they have to jump on that number line in backward position okay the second activity here you can do is using circles or pictures okay so if you are doing in a notebook just use simple circles ask them to draw circles and then cross it off okay so here 8 minus 5 is 3 so they draw 8 circles first and then with another color of pen or pencil what they do is cross out 5 okay so they take away 5 and how many remains 3 remains okay so you can do this using circles or pictures uh, the third activity is basically for using fingers okay so you give them this equation and ask them to use their fingers so 5 minus 2 is 1 2 how many remains 3 so 5 minus 2 will be 3 you give them the equation and uh, um, ask the child to use their fingers to subtract the correct number and find the correct answer okay the fourth activity can be using tense frames so you give them the equation you draw a tense frame for that sorry for this uh, smudge you draw a tense frame for that for them and then you ask the child to fill the tense frame okay you are going to give them the empty frame now you're going to ask the child to fill the frame first with the bigger number okay so 9 is the bigger number and after that you subtract the smaller number so here you are taking away 4 and now how many remains 5 remains so 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 this is the fourth way of doing subtraction in an activity notebook now the fifth way is a little advanced one again but it's a good um, activity to use their brain power and to really think and then do the work okay so here keeping the smaller number in mind and counting up to the bigger number so if you see here 9 minus 4 is 5 okay so we know the answer for the child how are they going to do there are two steps first they have to identify the smaller number out of the two given numbers okay so which is the smaller number it's 4 and now after 4 we have to count up to the bigger number so it will be 5 6 7 8 9 so after 4 starts with 5 and count up to the given bigger number so 1 2 3 4 5 5 is the answer 
so the child counts from 5 to 9 now the child can do this like this as i have done drawing the circles and then uh, writing the numbers starting from the after number of the smaller number and continuing up to the bigger number or the child can use their fingers and count okay so 5 6 7 8 9 so how many 5 then 9 minus 4 is how many it's 5 okay so that's it for the subtraction video i hope you like the hands-on activities as well as the activities that you can do in the notebook if you try out these activities do share it in our facebook group and if you are not yet a part of the facebook group i'm dropping the link to that in the description box below so just go check it out we do have weekly threads and the monday is for mathematical monday so you can get more ideas from the group as well okay and if you're looking for worksheets i do have three maths packs uh, made for different age groups it's three to four four to five and five to six as well so whichever age group your child fits in there are worksheets i will link them also in the description box and see you around for the next video the next video will be on ascending and descending order okay so we are going to finish the math series first and then we will start with some other videos okay so take care guys i hope to see you around and if you have any questions or any suggestions for next videos do leave them in the comments below now i am promising you to be regular with the videos okay take care signing off for today bye bye